Hi, welcome back. Just putting the final bit of pressing on my turned out tunic. And as you can see, all your arm holes and neck holes have no facings on them. They're all really, really neat. So all you need to do now is join the sides up and hem it. Now, if you were to just join the sides up as you normally would, right sides together, sew a seam, you couldn't have a reversible tunic. So what we need to do is open up these sides that we haven't stitched. And then with a little bit of manipulation, match up, I don't know if you can see there on the overhead, match up the armpit seams, for want of a better word, and pop a pin in there. And then we'll sew from this seam down to this seam in one fell swoop. I'm not even gonna bother pinning this. What you do need to watch out for is this bit of the tunic. Make sure you don't get it caught under your foot. So when you get to that armpit, it's worth leaving your needle in, taking your presser foot out and just adjusting the fabric to make sure that you are only sewing the two, la two layers together that you want. So that you have both seams are hidden. We'll do the same with the other side with one exception. You need to leave a gap only about four centimeters long in the center of one of those side seams. So I'm going to do it in the center of the orange one and you'll see why in a minute. Again, just manipulate the fabric, make sure that you haven't got your shoulder caught in there. Sew down and stop and fasten off your thread. And then start again, so about four centimeters away. So you have, again, hidden seams, but you've got a gap in this seam. And there's a very good reason for that gap, because now I want to hem it. And again, because it's reversible, I want that hem to be completely hidden. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna flip the hem inside out. Just make sure that your shoulders are well out of the way. And then match up your side seams and especially when you've got a curved hem like I've done on this it's so much easier stitching the hem like this than it is trying to fold under a curve <laughs> So I've now stitched the entire hem. I'm just going to clip that corner. And because I've left a gap in this side seam, I can just pop my finger in, grab it, and turn the whole tunic out. Like so. hem with the residual heat that's left in my iron that I've just turned off. A number of times I've pressed something with an iron that actually isn't on. I have a feeling I press rather too heavily which is why I managed to break the catch on my uh, iron. So 
So that's now pressed. And what you have is you have this gap. I say that's pressed, that's really badly pressed. You have this gap in one side of it. All you need to do, and uh, I'm not going to do it right now, is simply close up the edges and slip stitch over them to hide that gap. But then I think I've probably just got time to show you how to put some poppers in. So you've got your top like this. If you line up those two back edges and you grab yourself a needle tool, pop it in about seven mil from each end for your top hole. I want the other one about here for my bottom hole. And then if you just map your two holes to find the position more or less of your third one. And then these um, snaps come in such a wide variety of colors. So you need three drawing pin pieces and three either male or female parts for your blue side. Let's just pop them in. And if you were going to do this all in the same colour, obviously you would have an equal number of male and female parts. I, um, because I want to change colours, but also I don't want to end up using all of the female parts of the blue so that when I come to do another project, I end up with just male parts. I'm going to alternate them down the inside. And you just simply put them in so that the drawing pin part rests in the cup. And then this rubber bung protects the snap part while the bar in the middle pushes down that drawing pin and kind of welds it in place. Like so. Then the moment of truth. So there you go. One very easy to make, completely reversible tunic. And with that template, you can always adapt it to make a longer summer dress. You could add sleeves, but this is other videos that we'll come to at some point in time. Till then, I hope you've enjoyed that and come back and see us in the next demonstration where I'm going to show you how to make a pair of shorts. Thanks for watching. If you've been inspired to create, please share your makes with us in the comments section below. And if you've enjoyed videos by The Crafts Channel, hit the like button. Want to see more of us? Then click subscribe. See you next time.